One crazy dream. Are those alien spaceships in Liftmaster Motors? Are they planning on dominating the world? Hmm. Let's party. Liftmaster has announced that they're going to be releasing new garage door opener motors, and based on what I've seen, they are making significant changes to their GDO line. In fact, some of these changes will apply to their Chamberlain brand also, but we'll get into that in a later video. But in this video, what we want to talk about are these Liftmaster garage door opener motors and what they're all about, and what consumers, homeowners, and property managers might expect. The first thing that caught my attention and what I'm about to share with you is the fact that LiftMaster will only sell six GDOs, that is six garage door opener motor models. And I feel that's a very smart move, mainly because the minimal SKUs will allow homeowners to hone in on the best garage door opener motor for their needs. Now these six motors will offer similar specs and fall into three categories, the Contractor Series, the Premium Series or Pro Series, and the Elite Series. And LiftMaster has decided to drop the letter designation for each motor's name. In fact, they're sticking with a number scheme to these new garage door opener motors. Now that is interesting because all that means is that the current LiftMaster motors will soon be discontinued to free up space for the new line and these new models will pave the way how LiftMaster will name their motors in the future. Now these new line of motors from LiftMaster will be addressing four specific gripes from the dealer channel. And one of those gripes is how the LiftMaster Pro Series are too similar to the Chamberlain brand garage door opener motors that you can find in the retail channel. So, in an effort to differentiate these two brands, LiftMaster will continue to offer a metal housing. They have designed a side-by-side -side orientation for the Pro and Elite series, and they will feature built-in LEDs, and in the case of the Elite models, they will have a 360-degree light dispersion. And that's great news because the Chamberlain models will only offer a polycarbonate housing. They will orientate from front to back and the built-in LEDs won't have the same array of light disbursement. Now the next gripe from the dealers was that the Elite series did not differentiate enough from the Pro and Contractor series, which I think is silly because I believe the real issue was more with the retail motors. Nevertheless, LiftMaster has made substantial efforts to make sure that these motors are different by the design of their metal housing. Now personally, I'm not too keen with this move. To me, the design of the Elite Series has lost a certain elegance, and when I saw it, I was reminded of the modular garage door opener that Ryobi made. Remember that one? That was a dumpster fire. And I get that LiftMaster was trying to be minimalistic in their design, but that black and white color scheme is just boring. I say bring back the red color housing because that's hot. Now the Pro Series motors look nice in my opinion. The space gray color does seem appropriate to its design and the proportion LEDs seem a lot more flattering than the LEDs on the Elite Series. Now the other two points that LiftMaster has addressed is the setup time for MyQ. Now MyQ will take a lot less time to set up with your home internet. In addition, a new diagnostic feature will allow dealer installers to get real-time notifications when their customer has a problem with their motor. In fact, they will have the ability to set up a digital sticker for their customer to refer to, which I think is really handy, mainly because the wall sticker experience is becoming a bit dated and less desired. So do I think LiftMaster is going to dominate the garage door motor space with this new lineup? Well, that's kind of tough to say, and this is not a review video. In fact, only until I can get my hands on them will I be able to pass judgment, so we'll have to wait till then. But keeping in mind that these are very significant changes that LiftMaster is making, I'm not sure if they're the right ones. And I was surprised that there was no mention of a revamp or a change to the LiftMaster 8500W wall mount garage door opener motor. So this is going to be kind of interesting. I wonder if they're going to do like a two-phase thing or if they're going to come out with something later in the year or perhaps maybe next year. We really just going to have to wait and see. 
But I am happy that they are making a clear distinction between the LiftMaster brand and the Chamberlain brand. Those motors were too close. So I think this is going to give an incentive for dealer installers to offer LiftMaster in lieu that the Chamberlain is going to stay with a specific design and style. At any rate, if any of these new or old LiftMaster motors sounds like a party to you, well then please check out the links in the description down below. And in fact, if you have any comments or questions about these motors or older motors or any other motor, I'd love to hear from you. And to be completely transparent, LiftMaster did not sponsor this video. In fact, the pro tips, techniques, and ideas in these videos should not be considered law or infallible. Why? Because I'm nobody. In fact, the only opinion that matters here is your opinion. So if you find any value in that, please smash that like button and I do hope you consider subscribing. That's gonna be it for this one, party people. I wanna thank you so much for partying with me and watching this video. Now, check out this other video right here only if you want more pro tips and tech reviews for your residential garage door needs. And as always, y'all stay safe.